fun. I'm Kate DeRocher for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the red carpet premiere of Trumbo, starring Brian Cranston, all about the Hollywood screenwriter who was blacklisted during the 1950s for his involvement in the Communist Party. Great dress. You Thank nice. you so yeah. much. I like your hat. Thank you. Thank you. I got it in New Orleans. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. okay. When were you in New Orleans? Shooting this, oh, well, as a matter of fact. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was on the Our Brand is Crisis premiere yesterday, and they also shot in New Orleans. Oh, nice. I know they get a bunch of stuff down there. It's yeah. great down there. Yeah. I'm, I grew up in Mississippi, so it's uh, about an hour and a half east. Uh, I, uh, excuse me, New Orleans is an hour and a half west of where I knew I what you meant. Yes. You know what I meant, yeah. Well, that's fun. You get to go back a little yeah, bit. I got to go back. It was great. And work with Brian Cranston and Jay Roach, who's the nicest director in Hollywood. And I would do anything for, for Jay. He's amazing. Yeah, just great. That's amazing. What about Brian? What was he like? Brian was great as well. And Helen Mirren, I had a lovely time with her. It was really, I think people are going to like the movie. It's a lot of fun. And I had my mom over here in town visiting, uh, taking pictures of you taking pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the irony. Yeah. But I saw the movie. I absolutely loved it. Nice. What drew you to the movie when you read the script? Uh, they said yes to me. <laughs> they said they would hire me. <laughs> that was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yep, yeah, I'll do whatever you want, pretty yeah, much. I'll do it. It's fine. <laughs> uh, no, I auditioned uh, for Jay, and uh, he's. They said they'd have me, and I said yes, of course, I'd love to do it. So absolutely. And now I was on the other side of. I was uh, played Robert Stripling, who was the chief investigator of the House on American Activities Committee, and. You know, uh, I think I was just trying to do what was right, and I was maybe a little wrong-headed, maybe, you know, didn't quite go about it the right way, and so that's what's portrayed, I think, on here, so on the screen. Absolutely. I was going to ask, do you think that this movie will serve as kind of a reminder to some of the darker times in Hollywood and prevent maybe something like that from happening again? Well, I hope so. That would be nice. I mean, uh, I mean, you see the, the sort of the... The theater of the of these sort of the hearings going on with you know Hillary Clinton and that kind of thing and uh, um, but hopefully nothing like this will come about uh, again in our our lifetime. And Let's hope not. lifetime, yeah. <laughs> and what do you think people will get from this movie after they see it? Well, I think they'll have a good time. First of all, it's it's uh, even though it covers some uh, dark material, um, I think it's handled with some levity and and some uh, optimism and hope for things for humanity and things being better. I, this, this not, none of this is going to be usable, is it? Yeah. Yes, it will. Absolutely. I'm telling you right now it will. Edit out all the ums <laughs> and the uhs and just make it one one long sentence. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. And also, how true to the actual events is the movie? Well, that I don't know. So I, I, that was a little before my time, so I can't verify. I wasn't there to verify. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think that uh, uh, John McNamara, the, the writer, did a, a lot of research on that based on a, I think there was a uh, biography on Trumbo. And uh, I did watch the um, documentary Trumbo as well. And, um, and I think Brian does a great job of inhabiting the character of, of Trumbo in this movie. And I think people will really love that. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely important for a movie like this. Yeah, I think so. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so Congratulations. Much. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, thank if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, like, and leave me a comment on who your favorite Brian Cranston character is.